Hi there, this is a response to Jason Burns. Um, Jason, you, you seem to have a big problem right now. And uh, I'm going to say some things now and, and you won't like them. You're going to find them difficult to hear, but I really feel you must. And the reason why I'm saying these things is because I'm concerned about you. You know, I'm not, it's not ad hominem attacks. You know, I, I'm just, I'm concerned about your sanity. And I'm, again, you're not going to like it, but you've got to hear it. And I've tried to help you several, several times and you just seem to push it away and, you know, disregard it. But perhaps if you watch it a couple of times, you know, may, maybe the message will sink in. Now, you've said some things about other people. You've said some things about me specifically, and I'm going to address those. But first of all, I'm going to do a preamble. OK, now we first met uh, about three to three and a half months ago, uh, around about the start of, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks into October. Now, um, I was in Manchester and um, you were there, uh, you know, with a bunch of uh, Christians around you and you were talking to people about uh, the Bible and you know the preaching the gospels and things like that and that's cool okay now you seem to be debating with people and I, I quite like a good debate anyway so I thought I'd come along and uh, you know uh, have a little chat and you know you you know you're a really great guy in person you're a really nice guy you're affable and interesting and you know uh, you're knowledgeable about many things um, I disagree with you, but, you know, that's fine. I mean, people disagree, OK? So, um, you, we, you know, we had a discussion and uh, you gave me some things to think about and I came home and looked up some things on the internet because I thought it was interesting. And, uh, you know, a few weeks later I went back uh, and we had some more discussion, another discussion, and uh, you gave me more to think about. So this time when I went home uh, and went on the internet, I saw one of the discussions in, the, you know, the com uh, the um, the topics on there had a YouTube video. So I, I looked at that. And of course, you know what happens with YouTube videos. You see one link, you know, you see one video and there's the links at the side and links lead to links lead to links and next thing you know there you are and I was quite surprised and uh, you know so I, I sort of started watching your videos and I have to say I, I found it quite shocking um, that the the nice affable affable knowledgeable character that I'd met on the streets in Manchester um, was this uh, lunatic is the best way I can describe it you know just uh, it was Jekyll and Hyde you know you, you've got the nice knowledgeable uh, you know Dr Jekyll and then you've got the monstrous um, Mr Hyde making videos and it's and the best thing the best way I can describe it as you know the, the kind of people you know there's some horrible people who leave comments on uh, you know you leave YouTube comments um, and you just say exactly those same same things to a camera well, um, I, I watched um, them and I, I was really quite concerned uh, because what I saw was a pattern of behaviour that went something like, um, you know, you'd be going around challenging people and making scandalous videos saying that oh, atheists have got no morals and, uh, you know, that how uh, you wanted to debate so a, a certain person and, uh, you know, and so on. Um, and um, one of the, the, what happened at the time was that you'd made a um, uh, a deba you'd had a debate with DPR Jones about the resurrection of Jesus. Now it's not something I'm knowledgeable about, and uh, I'm happy to admit that. Um, you know, perhaps if I studied a bit more, I, I could have uh, debated you a little bit. But anyway, so um, uh, but what disturbed me was that the the run up to that was at least three instances where you would make uh you'd make a video demanding a debate you wouldn't you know send you know you, you didn't seem to like send a private message to someone saying you know uh hello dpr jones would you be interested in a debate i'm available on saturday you know do you think you'd be able to make it something of that nature no you'd just make a video challenging the atheists um to a debate um and then, you know, now the thing is, you're going to get, you know, three types of things going on. First of all, you're going to get the people who say, yeah, OK, 
I'll debate you. Fair enough. You'll get the people who just ignore you because they don't think you're worth it. And then you'll get the people who just say, I'll oh, get lost. I can't be interested. You know, so you're going to get three versions in there. So if someone acquiesced to a debate, you would then make what is best described as a pre-wrestling match video. You know, I'm going to destroy you with my uh, immense scholarship. Um, you know, and, it, you know, that, that that's quite a strange thing to do. Well, if you make a video like that, it's not going to be very long before people start calling you out on being a big-headed egotist. And so then, you know, I'd see comments in there and then, uh, you know, it, uh, you'd sort of say, oh, well, the atheists are picking on me, so the debate's off. And I saw at least three instances of you doing that. Um, so, uh, but on top of that, um, I noticed that you were making, um, you know, just saying things that, you know, probably would have been better said a different way. Um, and I, I came to visit you. I, I, you know, I rode my bicycle, bicycle all the way to Manchester to come and, you know, talk to you about it because I was concerned. And I mean, one of the things I said to you is that, you know, why don't, you know, first of all, if you put yourself on the battlefield, don't be surprised if people start shooting at you. You know, uh, it's, it's the old story of if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. And you were making a, lot, a number of videos where you were, you know, crying in some cases, saying about, oh, how the awful, awful atheists were picking on you and ad hominem attacks and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, and, you know, and, and of course, the tendency was that you were challenging them and they were fighting back. Well, again, if you put yourself on the battlefield, don't be surprised when people start shooting at you but you don't seem to be able to like being shot at. Oh, that's unfair, you know. So, uh, but on top of that, you were also saying strange things. And the thing about it is, you know, not only were you putting yourself on the battlefield, but you were giving people really good ammunition to use against you because you were saying things like, um, I've sat under gay and lesbian tutors. Now, when people say like something like that, you can't help but have a slight smile on your face. But then, literally a couple of days after that, there was the famous tsunami of penises. Now, honestly, I, I have to admit, I burst out laughing when I heard that, because it's such a funny statement, but it's like, oh, why did you say it? And not only that, when I came to visit you, I said, look, you, you really should edit your videos. And when I said that, I did qualify what I was saying. I wasn't saying make, you know, special flashy images and things like that. I was, you know, or cut and paste things. I was actually, what I said is, make a video and sleep on it. And watch it the next day and say, should I put this up or not? Could this be taken the wrong way? And um, within a few days... Uh, I think it was possibly the day after I came and saw you about this, um, you retired. This was uh, the uh, about the 21st of October, I believe it was. Um, but I also, you know, and, and one of the things you said at the time was that um, you like to be a character. You like to make videos to wind the atheists up and things like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, I have to say, at the time, I didn't really believe you. Uh, I, I, I thought you were trying to convince yourself more than convince me. Um, and, you know, I, I've watched a number of your videos and, and you've kind of admitted that, that you've made mistakes and you've said some silly things, and you know you have. Well, um, fully, you know, you retired for four days, I believe it was. Um, and came back as the Reverend Jason Burns. Well, of course, you know, you do something like that, and it's not going to be surprising if people start making fun of you. Because, you know, you do have a very um, uh, adversarial uh, attitude. But not only that, you have a very egotistical attitude as well. And, you know, it, your your... Your videos are so kind of deadpan. So you, can, you know, when you say, "Oh, I, I'm only being a character to confuse the atheism and just having a laugh and things like that," well, 
you know, how is anybody to know the serious part? You know, because you'll say, oh, you know, no one's been able to tackle the resurrection of Jesus stuff, and I'm the best, and, you know, and you'll say, well, I mean, you know, um, what was it? Um, I'm one of the most learned um, uh, theologians in in uh, in England, um, in in the country, and I'm the best of the best of the best of best of theolog- uh, religious theologians in the UK ever. You know, now, the thing about it is, I can't see that. I really can't see that because, and again, I've tried to explain it to you. Other people have tried to explain it to you, and you just refuse to accept it. And one of the reason, one of the things that people have said to you, I wa- the second debate you had with DPR Jones was, uh, is Christianity true? And for the first three and a half minutes, you verbatimly plagiarised. Um, a, a a page from um, Please Convince Me. Now, you said, oh, you know, people have accused me of plagiarism, that's not fair. It is fair. Okay? Scholarly material is not taking other people's stuff, representing it as your own in a debate, and then the following day saying, these are the bits where I s- stole it from. It doesn't stop it from being stolen because you represented it as your own. Now, if you were to take multiple source material aspects, multiple sources from multiple places, and then, you know, jumble them up and reword them in your own language, in your own, your own phraseology, that is your own work. So, when people accuse you of plagiarism, that's the reason why. And if you, go to, if you were to go to university and do that once, and they find out they'll give you a warning and if you do that again or multiple a couple of times they kick you out that is why it's not scholarly okay so as a result the atheists that you challenge will watch you make videos like that and watch you say that you're not plagiarizing and watch you say that I'm the best and no one can stand up to me and things like that uh, and they can't stand you know they can't debate me and you know I've won everybody you know when you say things like that is there any surprise when people call you out on it and then you say oh it's cyberbullying it's not cyberbullying it's the truth and you don't seem to be able to accept that so following that your life fell to pieces in the uh run up to christmas and just uh you know uh and the new year you um were really very spiteful um you know in um and oh and there's something else that needs to be said uh and it does link into it um i'm and and many of a, a number of other atheists are worried about your sanity and the reason why they're worried about that is you know that you've said you've admitted uh, i think it was the second to last uh, fundamentally flawed uh, that you were invited to um you admitted uh, quite candidly that you'd suffered with depression and that's nothing to be ashamed of okay it's it's actually good for you to admit that you've had a problem you know or have a problem okay now in as as a part of that uh, discussion um alex bottom admitted that he has a problem with depression as well from time to time and he said look you know um have you considered going to the doctors you know um when i when i had my problem uh i went to the doctors i got some tablets and they helped they helped me maybe you should do the same the following day you uh made a video and you you twisted it you stuck the knife in and give it a twist and you effectively said uh oh these horrible people they couldn't stand up to your immense scholarship and they were you know they were just trying to shut you up and say you were off your head and you know that, that they're not qualified to give uh, medical advice well that's not what was said at all what they actually said was go to the doctor this is someone who is qualified to give medical advice maybe they can help you you know 
and, and really they're saying look don't be ashamed to seek help you obviously need it they were concerned just because they're atheists and you know you don't like what they have to say it doesn't mean to say they're not human beings you know and they they have concern for people you know um in the same way you will twist what people say you will you will make it sound like they're attacking you and they're not and a good example was you were in one of the left coast atheist uh, uh discussions with John McDropout and in that debate um you and John were having a very interesting conversation i watched it uh, live at the time and i you know it was very interesting you were talking about uh, the presuppositional apologetics and you know uh things of that and it was it was interesting um you know i'm not really big into philosophy myself but it was interesting um and what John said to you at the time was that he liked discussing it with you because you were interested in the philosophy you know it was a philosophical argument it was all very interesting and it was nice to have a discussion about it you know well the second part of it was uh alex bottom came in and uh i can't remember i think it it was either uh bible thump and wingnut or i think it was site in bruden k in fact um and in that discussion uh, or it may have just been Alex Bottom talking about Psy 10 and the Cyclone stuff uh, and you know effectively they were saying that uh, you know they don't like their way of presenting that case that it seems to be just a mind game and you know just a word play and things like that well the following day you said that uh, you know John Dropout is an awful person and you know he's uh, you know terrible for you know uh, attacking a fellow Christian and it's like well no he wasn't attacking Psy 10 he was attacking the argument saying that you know this isn't really the you know it's not the discussion it's not the presuppositional apologetics discussion it's not the um, you know the proper version the Van Til one it's a twisted version of it and it just seems to be you know a game it just seems to be uh, you know just a, a word trick um so as a result uh you know uh because you say these sorts of things um and you've said horrible spiteful things in the past and what you've done is you've made a video insulting someone so for example you said that aaron ra was a wife beater and that uh, I think you implied uh, that um, DPR Jones was a paedophile or something like that uh, or someone else I, I, uh, I may have got that message wrong but you made these claims and then you deleted the video well as a result people can't trust what you say you have this revisionist history problem and you will twist things to make it sound like you're the victim and they're the horrible ones uh, and uh, you know they're saying horrible things behind you back and you know you didn't say this so as a result they've mirrored you because they, they can't trust what you're saying you know um, so um, it runs up to New Year um, and you know you make this scandalous um, accusation at Alex Botton and saying that his wife's not really ill and that he's just a, a lazy uh, musician and he's rubbish and he should get a job and you know things like that and the fact is he has a job you don't have a job you know don't you think that's a little hypocritical to say something like that um, and when they um, responded to you you went on a tirade about how everyone was horrible and they've been attacking you for three years and you know um, uh, yeah you may have said some horrible things but you don't deserve what's been said back to you and uh, that you know things like nobody tried to help me you know where were all you where were you all you know no one helped me no one defended me well I'm sorry Jason I tried to help you and I haven't just tried to help you once I've tried to help you about three times now okay now I'll give you an example so you uh, had your upset in the new year and uh, you know you made a video saying you'd committed suicide and then compl you know complaining when people show concern because they like you know someone doesn't make a video saying they've committed suicide or they're going to commit suicide uh, even if you only stick it on for an hour you know 
don't be surprised if someone watches that video 12 hours later uh, or you know a few hours later uh, on the mirror channel and then says whoa this guy really needs some help I'm gonna phone the police you know get some help for you you obviously need it people don't make videos saying they're gonna commit suicide when they're sane okay the follow-up to that is you spreading um, tomato ketchup on your face saying that you've been attacked by atheists you know sane people don't do these things they just don't can you be are you amazed that people will say whoa this guy needs some help there's something wrong with him if he's doing this but no no these are you know they're like oh they knew it was true they, they they knew it I was only playing games and they're just trying to attack me no they're showing concern because they're worried that you'll do something to yourself because in the run-up to this you're making videos saying oh these people you know they uh, you know um, uh, I could have killed myself because of all these attacks that kind of thing so you're saying in the run-up to this you're saying I could have killed myself and then you make a video saying you know I've killed myself you know is there a surprise here well, you know, so you said that you were retiring and you were going to keep a low profile and, you know, and that's cool. And the, there's a thing to remember here. You you know, you, you then sort of make these videos about how there's this mirror channel and it's holding you back. Now, I've watched some of your older videos recently and, you know, you've said some interesting things uh, that uh, is worth pointing out because you'll uh you know i wrote some things down because uh, i had to remember it um so you've said things like um uh oh i've lost track now i'm sorry um yeah uh you'll you'll oh I'm crying out loud i've stuffed this up but i'm going to re-edit it Okay. So, one of the other things you've said is that you like to play the character, um, and you like the white to wind the atheist up, and and then only a few months later you're saying, "Oh, there's this uh, mirror channel." Um, well, if if you like the wind the wind the atheist up, and this is all a game, and you're just playing a character, why are you bothered about this mirror channel? you know you say you want to move on well I don't know if you noticed but when you know y you've accused the atheists of making you take down uh, sorry of um, of removing these videos you've closed down this uh, your channel they didn't close down any channel you closed the channel okay there's only one person responsible for closing your channel and for you losing your 2000 odd uh, scholarly videos um, there's only one person responsible for this and that's you because even if um, you know you decided to take them down be, you know uh, under a sort of duress at the time no one made you not have a backup copy now I have some 50 odd videos on cycling camera footage um, every single one of them I have backed up so if something happens to my channel, if YouTube goes under, whatever, I have a backup copy. So I can re resubmit them uh, anywhere, which includes YouTube, if it, uh, you know, if it was just uh, something went wrong with my channel and it accidentally got deleted, or I accidentally deleted a video myself. Uh, I have done it on one occasion, re-uploaded. The only thing I, you lose when you do this is you lose the comments that are written underneath. So, um, so what happened was um towards the middle of january i believe it was um i 
uh, 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 I, I phoned you up. I phoned you up at home, you know, your address was available on the internet, uh, and so I gave you a call because I noticed you'd started making videos again. Now, you know, I just wanted to ward you off, and I don't mean silence you or, you know, anything like that. It was really exactly the follow up from exactly what I'd said before. I think you're too fragile to cope with the abuse that people will give you if you challenge atheism. Whatever abuse that is, any abuse seems to really upset you. So, what? Um, so the reason why I phoned was I was concerned that you were going to come back. You were going to slip into an old pattern and just get yourself worked up and you know bring your depression again. And you seem to be doing all right up to there. So it was like, okay, let's you know. I, I just want to make sure you're doing all right. So I phoned you up and I phoned you up because I was concerned. Um, and you know the reason, uh, uh, and I and I said to you at the time that if you make videos about the gospels and Jesus and all that kind of stuff, that's fine. No one really cares about that. If you watch your videos um, and you see the ones that you've written about atheism, people will challenge you on the ones you write about the gospels and you know Christianity and things like that. They really don't care, you know, it's not, it's something that's outside their attention. So, y you, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to make sure you didn't slip into an old habit. I was concerned for you because I didn't want you to get into this spiral of depression again. Um, well, on your blog, you gave it a twist and made it sound like, uh, you know, I was saying something I hadn't, uh, and then... Um, only a couple of weeks ago, I was in Manchester and I saw you and I came up to see you and at first you wanted to push me away because I was taking part in fundamentally flawed post shows and things like that. And, um, you know, and, and I, uh, uh, you made a video yesterday, I think it was, or maybe the day before. And one of the things you said in that is said I've uh, I've had atheists come up to me in, in town and say stop making videos on atheism it's not doing you good well that's exactly what I did say uh, but then you know it was it's just trolls it's not the athe atheist leadership um, uh, and then I said you've got uh, you've got a channel with all these videos of mine why don't you pull them down I don't have it any channel. The person who's got this Jason Burns Archive channel is an independent person. I've spoken to a number of atheists and none of them know who it is. I don't know who it is. I haven't got anything. You talk about the atheist community like it's one great big hole. You know, one great big lump of people that all talk to each other and all conspire against you. It's not like that at all. You've got independent people some of them who are tight friends others are uh, just you know acquaintances that kind of thing and we hang out on various shows and you know have little discussions on our own some live some not um and it's just you know a bit of chat you know we'll laugh at some christian things and we'll discuss other things and you know sometimes you get people talking about philosophy and things like that people cluster and they chat and it's just you know it's it's just online chat that's what you do you know that uh, christians do the same you know uh, i'm sure there are plenty of other groups that do the same as well so you know but we're not and, and i say we as a you know i'm an independent person and when i saw you in manchester a couple of weeks ago i said have i done anything you know all the time that we've had discussions have i actually done anything ag about against you other than try to reason with you and say, look, you know, you really need to consider what you're doing. You need to be careful. Y you know, I, I just don't think you're cut out for challenging atheists. Because I just think you're, you're a bit too fragile to accept it. You know, um, someone like Bible Thumping Wingnut or something like, you know, someone like that, they'll just ignore it. I mean, honestly, they're, they're you know... Uh, they're grown ups. They'll just sort of say, "Ah, you know, I don't care." You know, they 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 give as much, they give as well as they get, and that's cool. It really is, you know. 
may not agree with him but I think it's great you know it's good fun so you know as uh, and I'm sure he gets a, a you know a, a, a certain buzz out of it too because of course if he didn't why would he be there you know so uh, so you sort of added on to it um, and you know um, uh, and then you said um, uh, they were common license well the thing about it is uh, that's only a half truth and and you know it okay what I what I said to you is that you made the videos you put them out there you made them common license you insulted people they copied it because they couldn't trust that you wouldn't that you wouldn't delete the videos and then say oh I didn't say that you're making it up you're telling lies because that's what you atheists do and you have done that in the past so you know you can't complain that this channel exists now another reason why you can't complain this channel exists uh, is because you keep feeding the fire have you ever heard of the Streisand effect now this is Barbara Streisand the actor what happened was someone was um, uh, someone was videoing the uh, uh, the coast of somewhere like Santa Monica or something like that so California and it's where all the stars live so he was flying around the coast where they where they lived and taking video and you know it was like a video footage thing you know to say look this is where the stars live and you know isn't it a nice view that they get and so on well Barbara Streisand kicked up a fuss and said oh I don't want people seeing where I live I don't want this stuff being around um, and as a result everybody knew about it because she kicked up so so much of a fuss it became a spectacle and this is what you do you know you create a spectacle you fee you fan the fire you know if you were to just continue making your videos about Christianity and Greg Banson and you know stuff like that just stay away from the topic of atheism you'd be fine because pretty soon give it three or four or six months later people would get tired of you and they you know maybe the guy will delete it maybe it'll just get you know absorbed into the mass of other videos that people don't really care about anymore you know and and maybe every now and again on a channel people say oh do you remember that Jason Burns oh yeah he was so funny wasn't he you know uh, a bit silly but you know uh, that kind of thing but what happened to him oh he just stopped making videos on atheism you know nothing to talk about anymore so you know and that's what will happen so you know now you um a few weeks ago you started you know you started making this kind of war on atheism you know and you seem to pick thunderfoot out specifically it's like you know thunderfoot you got 24 hours to get it off you know uh, and then you're saying sort of mr obama mr cameron and you know and you're sort of you know even yesterday you're making appeals to matt dillahunty <coughs> And um, oh, who else was it? I wrote it down just to. Um, there you go, Matt Dillahunty, DPR Jones, Thunderfoot, Dan Barker, uh, uh, David Silverman, the Manchester Police. You know why? I mean, certainly, you know, when you've made other videos in the past, challenging Richard Carrier and uh, you know uh, uh, Richard Dawkins to debates and things like that why you know there's a couple of people the more famous people who you've never spoken to and they're famous and you know of course your joke although you say a joke I wonder how much of a joke it is um, when you're talking about Bill Nye you know why would you think that anyone would pay attention to you that know who you are let alone care who you are you know it's sad to say that you know people like Richard Dawkins he's a busy guy you know he's probably going around you know writing a book or you know uh, doing um, stage uh, seminars you know talking to people uh, you know dissertations or whatever um, you know things like that I, I mean you know he's a busy guy why would he be sat at home watching YouTube and you know someone and, and if you consider it you're 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 not really a scholar you you know you, okay maybe you've uh, you know you've got a um uh, uh an MA in theolog uh, theology or something but uh you know you haven't written any books 
you know, you haven't got like five books and uh, you know, uh, with your name written on them, and you know, you're not going around giving seminars everywhere, and you know, on the breakfast news or Christian radio, you know, saying, "Look at my new book that's coming out soon," you know, buy my book. You know, you're not doing any of those things. You're a street preacher with a with a web, ch- you know, with a YouTube channel. You know, it's horrible to say this, but really, you're a nobody in the same way as I'm a nobody. I'm just some cyclist who makes some video camera, uh, cham- you know, videos. That's it. You know, I don't have delusions of grandeur about this. You know, um, I take part in some of the, you know, uh, some of the atheist uh, channels and discussions and things like that. And it's just a bit of fun. I enjoy it. I like to talk to, uh, you know, uh, intelligent people. It's nice to learn things about science and genetics and things like that. It's something that I'm not really familiar with. Uh, you know, and if anything, it inspires me to look into those sorts of things. You know, I might end up going back to school this year, uh, you know, this September, and, uh, you know, maybe doing some um, studies on um, uh, biology and chemistry and things like that. You know, it's something that I never really did at school. Maybe it's time I do. So, you know, but y- you're making these videos demanding that people take this challenge down and demanding they take you serious. And of course, Considering the things that you've said about people like Thunderfoot and DPR Jones and Aaron Ra, uh, you know, why would someone like that acquiesce to help you when you've called someone a paedophile or a wife beater or a coward? You know, things like that. Why, w- why do you think these people owe you a favour? You know, don't you think they're basically going to, you know, mentally tell you to F off? You know, if you'd have, if you'd insulted me in the way that I've seen you know videos of you insulting them, you know, I wouldn't lift a finger to help you. I really wouldn't. I mean, why would I? You know, you've made it quite clear that you you know you have no respect. Um, so why would they respect you? Why would they help you if you can't even help yourself? If you can't just keep quiet and let it blow over? You know, and that's the thing, you know, I mean, one of the things you've said recently is that, um, you know, they tried to have you sectioned. Well, the reality of that is probably something along the lines of um, the person who phoned the police and you and I both know who it is. Um, The person who phoned the police uh, or social services or whatever, uh, they have basically the paperwork has caught up. Uh, got to your doctors uh, and as a result you know she called you in you know to make sure you're doing all right now that would be getting you the help that you probably do need you know but instead you give it a twist and you say oh it's all the atheist fault you know this thing about you having too many books now I don't know what happened on the day that the police turned up but if the police turned up and went into your study and saw all those books and you go ranting on about the atheist, the atheist, the atheist. Now, if I was a policeman and I saw this person who was obsessed by that and obsessed by religion, you know, and things like that, I would worry about their sanity too. I would write in my logbook, in the report that I would file, in the paperwork that the police have to fill reams and reams of paperwork, I would report that stuff. Because that's what they do. They are trained to notice people who have unstable mental health issues you know so this is the reason why this has happened you know and again as I said to you before there's only one person to blame and that is you and I know it's hard to say these things and I know it's hard for you to admit that you've got a problem but you do have a problem you really really do okay now you know there's there's a few places you can go here now you can either let it go just you know you can either leave youtube completely or just continue making your uh you you know your your um standard videos you know your your ones talking about the gospels and the teachings of jesus and all that kind of stuff and all that stuff is great and you know all the best to you for that really you know it's great you know because my personal opinion in life is you know if you're religion religious great and if you're not religious great and the thing about it is we can get along we really can I have tried to be nice and friendly with you 
you know I bought you a burger in Manchester if you remember that uh, I didn't buy your friend one because I didn't realize he was with you at the time um, but you know I've tried to be friendly with you I've tried to help you other people have tried to help you not only that one of the other things I tried to do is when you had your episode um, uh, at the start of the new year I got in contact with Bubba Thump and Wing Nut and I said look you know here's the state of play um, people have tried you know some atheists have, uh, that he's had discussions with have tried to help him um, you know he doesn't want to listen to us I think I think it's because you know we're atheists he can't trust what we're saying so maybe if a fellow Christian you know approaches him with the same kind of thing maybe that'll help you know maybe he'll listen to you he won't listen to someone like me so he said that he'd get in contact with you now I don't know whether he did or he didn't it doesn't matter it's not important but I tried to help you there as well so all these things I'm trying to say they're not ad hominem attacks I'm you know an ad hominem attack is when I you know when I just make an insult at you with for no reason you know um, I'm trying to criticize you constructively I want you to get some help just for your own sanity just to stabilize you because in exactly the same way as Alex has said he's had a depression problem I've had a depression problem I've taken tablets to help you know and they have helped you know they just you know ease it off you know they just stop you feeling so anxious about it all so it's time for you to change it's time for you to make that leap of faith almost you know you've you've got to make the change because if you continue going you know into this spiral of depression it's going to end you and you're a nice guy I'd hate to see that happen and when I say end you I don't mean dead end you I just mean socially spiritually you know uh, you're just going to end up this you know bitter twisted person and I'm sure there's more to you than that so please please do something to help yourself you know really okay so take care Jason and I hope you forgive me for being you know so uh, uh, so forthright in this it's not meant as an insult it really really isn't you know I've said to you on the street as much as we disagree I'm a human being you're a human being and I care I can empathize with someone I can see suffering you know and really isn't that the whole point of being a human being you know to sh to hold out the hand of friendship when you can see someone struggling you know and that's that's all I want you know and I'm saying this as an individual not so much as a part of a community although I, f I have much in common with many people that I discuss uh, you know atheism and things like that with and we discover discuss all sorts of things outside it as well um, so you know it's it's me to you it's not the atheist community you know I'm not a demon I'm not a devil I'm not evil you know I'm a human being who cares about someone they can see suffering so please, please get some help. Okay? So take care. And please don't be upset with me. Because I'm just trying to reach out. Okay.